morning, everyone. Good morning. So, I watched, I have to admit, first off, I guess I'm a YouTube junkie. Um, no, Blue's hopefully benign tumor. The vet never called me back. So I guess he's not dying. Um, but it's not better. It's still there. It may be something we have to have removed in the future. And if we get him neutered, we can do it at the same time. That wasn't something I wanted to jump and do. But this is not what that video is about. He just walked by. Uh, yeah, YouTube junkie. So I search and I look and I, I like to find new things, new channels. And I came upon this channel this morning and they don't need me to back them up. And I'm, I'm, I, I just watched like two or three of their videos and um, it's called Ballerina Farm. And she used to be a ballerina and I guess he's just a smart guy. Um, they have eight kids. Amazing, amazing, just simply amazing and inspirational to me. But they're young, they're super young. And it made me, I don't know exactly what did it about the video that made me be inspired. Because um, it made me think, okay, so I'm 58 years old. And when I was very young, I wanted nothing more than to be a housewife. And I would have loved to have had the life that goes on at that farm. Um, but it wasn't in the cards for me. And part of that is my choices. Uh, I was a wild one. And I did have my kids, but I had to work and uh, menial jobs. Uh, we were poor, you know. Um, shoot, I'm poor now. Ah, and there's gnats everywhere. That's awful. I was not looking forward to gnats. Um, <clears throat> But it made me think that, okay, you're 58 years old. That part of the dream, that part of having, you know, a young couple and having beautiful babies and having home births and having this wonderful farm and all those things, that's not going to happen for me because I'm 58 years old. Uh, you got to reshape your dreams. And, and as I'm saying this, my husband is still in jail. He will be out next week um, and still can't come home. But I have been, and I'm going to court for Isaiah on Monday, but I have been down for so long because of things that have happened that I feel kind of like I've lost my way and Keith has lost his way as well. Uh, Cause we were inspired a few years ago. We were really inspired when we moved here and we were like, yeah, we're doing it. We're, our dreams are, you know, these are dreams and they're coming true and it's going to be awesome. And, and we kind of got caught up in the whole troubled Isaiah thing and we lost sight. We lost sight of our own wonderful goals. Um, and there's a number of, there's also a number of channels of over 60 ladies that are making channels and doing quite well. And there's of course my hippie chick that I love and uh, Amanda Off Grid and my friend Craig Betts. Um, if you wanna see some things in St. John, you should tune into him. Um, there's, there's a number of us for some reason that have chosen YouTube as a platform in our later days. And I don't think I've been, you know, I've had some cautionary tales about raising grandkids and, and the reality of what goes on there. Um, I'm watching Blue dig a hole. Blue, stop, Blue. Oh my gosh, he just jumped and turned around. Stop that. Um, yeah, there's a number of us out there that are, uh, you know, we're all of that age and we're going, okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. 
I need to rethink this whole thing of getting older and, and what do I want to do with this last bit of time that I have to make the things happen that I always thought about doing. And I always said uh, I never knew what I wanted to be when I grew up, <laughs> and I still don't. And that's, that's true in a way, but I think what I want to be is right here in a setting like this and doing what I'm doing. I'm not ever going to have a big farm. Um, I don't want a big farm. I don't want the responsibility like of that. I'd like to travel. Um, no, uh, stop with the holes. Stop that. No, no holes. And don't knock the tripod over. Oh, he's thinking about it, y'all. He is thinking about it. Um, so, yeah, you need to stay steadfast. And maybe if it's just you, it's easier to stay the path. Um, maybe I'm easily distracted, uh, but when you're raising kids, it's when you're still, when you're raising somebody else's kids, let me put it that way. When I was raising my own kids, it was like they were part of the path. Um, but when I had to take on other people's kids, my daughter's children, not that they aren't part of the family and we aren't all family. It's not like that. It's that, okay, this wasn't planned. And it's not like you gave birth to this kid and he is your kid and you take him home and you march on. It is, it involves a lot of other people telling you what you should do with your business, uh, what you shouldn't do, um, how to raise kids. Have you done this for them? Have you done that for them? calls of have you taken them to the dentist this six months have, have they had their checkup have they done and you know I have always taken care of my children and I have always taken them to the doctors and the dentists and things like needs to be done um but to have somebody else lots of somebody else's uh telling you to do these things or telling you you're not doing these things right or you know, have you tried this or have you tried that? I mean, you know, you would think, I don't, I don't know, maybe some people think that's helpful. To me, it is just everybody in my business and you get to the point where you, well, I got to the point where I, I felt like I was not enough. I, I am not enough. I don't do things correctly. I can't make the right choices. And when you're raising a kid like Isaiah or my daughter, she was, she was another one. She was my first clue of, I don't have a clue. Um, I thought I had it all together when I was really young. I thought I could raise kids. I thought I could have a house in the country and have a garden and party and do all of those things. And, and I, you know, it wasn't that we weren't successful at it. We had a hot tub and we had people out on the weekends and uh, we had a beautiful garden and we did all those things. And, you know, I was young. I did all that. Now I'm older and this should be my time to be puttering in my garden and taking care of all those things that I didn't get done when I was younger. And I'm still raising kids and I'm still clueless how to do it correctly with Isaiah. We're still, it's just a, you know. So I guess what I'm getting at is this summer I lost my way for sure and it's not the first time I've lost my way life events kind of take me you know the hard ones kind of set me back and when you have so much input from so many different people telling you so many different things and you're tired you kind of lose your ambition you lose your inspiration and you lose your way and I think that is what has happened to me and Keith and I can't have him in on this video right now because I think he would agree with me um, that we've kind of lost our way and, and we need to work on that um, 
But here's what I think. Here's what I here's what inspired me about all that is there is so much out there and there is so many opportunities and we do have so much going for us. I mean, we have a home that's paid for. Uh, I have, I have started the basis of my perennials that I want to grow. Now I'm looking at a bush right here that does not look very good, <laughs> but you know, I have planted apple and cherry trees. Blue, what is up with you? Uh, I have planted apples and cherry trees and raspberries and asparagus and uh, I want to plant artichokes. Hippie chick, if you're watching this, I want to plant artichokes. Uh, I've not been successful at that. Um, blueberries and you know, I've, I've done, we've done all of that and it's just now starting to do something. And we did that right away when we moved here because, you know, we know we're in a time crunch as far as our age goes. And we'd like to see how the fruits of our labor turn out because this might not be our last chapter. We'd really like a house on the water, y'all. It may be out of our reach. I don't know. In which case, we have a beautiful home right here. And, you know, I need to mow the grass. But it's like... It's it's like a weed sticking up here and there. Doesn't look fun. <laughs> but I suppose I need to do it anyways. Um, but yes, the whole inspiration thing. The inspiration to keep up your home. To uh, keep being inspired and keep crafting and keep making things. And... I, I, I was working towards a farmer's market this Christmas. Do I think I'll be ready? No, no. This, I totally lost it this year. I lost the inspiration to be doing the things I needed to be doing. Um, but before I watched this video yesterday, I told myself it's time for you to get back on track. And it is, it is. Even though my husband isn't home yet and we're still going through this stuff, it is time for me to gather my thoughts and you know 59 is around the corner and i am still pretty agile i can still do most things and there is no time like the present you can't wait too long because it's over in a moment so maybe this was just a ramble i would like it to be inspirational i would like for people my age to say, yes, I can still do it. I can still work towards those dreams because that's what I want to do. And like I said, I don't know what I want to do when I grow up. And that goes as far as, do I want to travel? Yeah, I'd like to. Um, is there time in that window that I have? I sure hope so. Uh, we've got three more years of Isaiah in school and it's not gonna be an easy road, but he is getting old enough to leave him on, on his own a little bit. I was thinking, you know, maybe Keith could go, or Keith and I could go on a trip to the Upper Peninsula in the trailer before winter comes, you know? Even if he's not home, maybe we could take a weekend trip because the boys are fine by themselves on the weekend. I think that would be awesome. There was a place in Newberry, Michigan, a little park on a lake that I would love to go to. So maybe we can make a plan for that. We have to keep moving forward and we have to keep thinking of positive things to do. And this goes for me and my troubles and my family and you and your families. And, you know, be inspired. Think about when you were young and what you really wanted. And maybe things didn't work out the way you planned or maybe they did. And in that case, think of a new adventure. But, uh, what do you want to do and go for it and keep trying and you know when you're down give yourself some time you know I, I don't feel bad about getting off track it was a lot it and it still is and whew, I wish it was over <laughs> I was hoping like anything he was gonna do this little bit of time which is just 
crazy for me to even say. And then he was going to be able to come home. And no, the judge did not grant us that. So we will keep up the good fight and we will get through this. Um, but the only way to get through it is to keep going. So whatever your struggle may be, whether it be your health, whether it be your finances, whether it be that you're alone and you don't want to do these things alone, screw it, do it, you know? There is no time like the present and life is so short. My, daughter's, my daughter is a go-getter. My oldest daughter is a go-getter and she goes and does tons of things and takes her daughter to do tons of things and she only had one kid because she knew mama had multiple kids and it was too expensive my youngest daughter is a stay-at-home mama and will probably homeschool and has a much smaller scale of the ballerina farm um she has her little house out in the woods and it's it's wonderful and she's happy and and my son you know it took him a while he had some struggles and some you know, fallbacks and things like that. But he is on a good path as well right now. Now, the boy's mama, you know, I can't say. I'm not in touch with her. We are estranged. And she's not doing well. I know that she's not doing well. Um, but it's not my fault, you know. I tried my best when she was young. And that's all you can do. Just like I'm doing with Isaiah. I did the same with her. We went to counselors. We went to doctors. We went to uh, the state hospital. She went to the state mental hospital in Austin a couple times. Um, she went to a halfway house and did really well there. So, you know, I, I did my best with that and that did not work out. And I wish her the best and I hope that she gets the help she needs, which is all I've ever hoped. Um, so life has, I've lived a couple of lifetimes I feel like but my goodness I don't want to be done I want to get to the end of my story and have it be a peaceful ending <laughs> with my husband by my side and some of our dreams some of them answered and fulfilled and we have to do that ourselves so if you're sitting on the couch and you've watched too much TV or you've scrolled through your phone for way too long and the beautiful world with all the gnats and the buzzards, I got buzzards up there too. Uh, it's the beautiful world is out there and it's waiting for you. Whether I, you know what? And, and don't get me wrong. If you love sitting on your couch and that is what you want to do, you do it. You know, but if it's not what you want to do, try something else. You know, try one thing. You know, get up and do one thing. Take one little walk. It will add to the next thing. But you got to keep trying every day. Some days are better than others. And I've rambled on way too long. I am, I started yesterday, I started, uh, cutting coasters out of leather. Um, it's one of my favorite things to make in the winter time. And I kind of got sick of them because there's a lot to go into doing them. But I thought these are the easiest, quickest things you can make. You can sit here and do one little piece of it every day. Um, just keep trying y'all. Have a wonderful day. Watch some inspiring things. Um, get inspired yourself, get out of the house, and keep trying. Just keep trying whatever it is you want to do. Take a class. I wish I liked classes. I really do. I wish I liked class because that's what I should be doing. I should be getting a better education. But I don't know what I'd do with it. Y'all take it easy. <laughs>